my name is Gautam Goyal. I have secured All India Rank 223 in the Civil Services Examination 2018. Today I will be discussing with you optional strategy. So uh, my option was physics. So let us first delve into how an option can be chosen. The choice for an option depends upon your interest, uh, your competency in that particular subject. At the same time, while choosing an option, you have to also consult the syllabus. And then after that, previous year question papers. If that gives you confidence and you feel that you would be able to sustain that optional for next two to three years and you are willing to at least uh, invest that much amount of time in that optional, then you should go for it. With particularly to physics, I believe those who are whether background of bachelors in science and physics or mathematics or have done engineering in any of the subjects are uh, very well uh, able to take physics as an option. Uh, it is not mandatory that you should have a graduation degree or a post-graduation degree in physics. A normal engineering degree would also do. I did my uh, uh, Bachelor's of Engineering in Computer Science from Bits Pilani. I also did my post-graduation in physics from Bits Pilani. So uh, now I'll be discussing with how physics optional could be tackled. Uh, in my case, I took uh, coaching from Dias Institute uh, in Delhi and Dr. Uh, Mr. D.P. Vajpayee. He is the teacher who is actually taking physics course and he tries to complete the course within 4 to 5 months. But uh, you should not be fooled by those, uh, those terms that 4 to 5 months is enough for doing physics. Because taking any science optional, be, be it physics, chemistry or mathematics, it would at least require minimum of one year. So you need to at least give half of, more than even half of your time of whole preparation to your optional. Because for being science student or being from the engineering background, general studies could be tough for you. Therefore, it is physics, it is mathematics or chemistry or even for that sake biology or any other subject that would be the anchor for you. So for physics, there are certain books which are uh, basically known as the golden standards which I think you should follow. For example, the physics paper is divided into two parts. Physics paper 1 and paper 2 each carries 250 marks. And in paper 1, uh, we find subjects such as optics, for which uh, the basic book which I did was uh, Ajoy Ghatak as well as Subramanyam. The second uh, subject in physics is mechanics. Uh, the sub uh, the syllabus of mechanics is scattered around in different books, but uh, there are two basic books which I think uh, could be done. Those are uh, Mathur, uh, uh, which is published by Eschens, and another book uh, which is handy is uh, J.C. Upadhyaya. After that, the next subject which comes is thermodynamics. For thermodynamics, there is a small book by TMH Publications. I think that is sufficient for the preparation. And the last but not the least is electrodynamics, which is one of the most interesting as well as one of the most dicey of the subjects. For that, I think introduction to Griffiths would be uh, suffice. Coming to paper 2, we have again here 4 chapters or 4 subjects. First subject will be quantum mechanics, which was my favorite. For that, introduction to quantum mechanics for HC by HC Verma would be enough. The second book, uh, the second subject which you need to do is nuclear physics. Again, the syllabus for nuclear physics is scattered around. So S. B. Patel could be uh, covers most of the syllabus, but you might have to rely on books like uh, Iceberg for uh, completion of the whole syllabus and some online uh, searching. The third subject which is particle physics, for that you will have to again uh, look into S.P. Patel as well as the first chapter uh, from Griffith's uh, introduction to particle physics. And finally, uh, the most, uh, I would say the biggest of the chapters which covers areas of electrical, electronics, engineering, uh, even physics is the solid state. So here uh, you have to be very careful. If you are from electronics background, then well and good. You can go about the whole syllabus. If you are not, I think you should delve into uh, solid state physics more and for that there are two books. One is by Eschen Publications and there is another book which is S.O. Pillar. So you may read these two books and that could be enough for you. And for the part which, comes, uh, which we are talking about uh, electronics or basically logic gates, so logic gates could be prepared online as well. But uh, the other part which is microprocessors, uh, flip flops etc. So if you are not from electronics or electrical engineering background, you may think of skipping it or you may basically prepare as basic way as possible. 
because output to input ratio will be not useful to you. So this was all about what books uh, you need to consult for physics. Now how to prepare for physics or basically how to prepare your books. For making notes, uh, now my primary source was my class notes from Dias Institute. The second source which I used was basically online resources. Uh, for example, there are uh, certain toppers uh, previous years such as uh, Mr. Rishab Gupta, Sir or uh, Abhijit Agarwal. So I basically refer to these notes and integrated their material into my own. And the third thing would be your uh, textbooks which I have just talked about. So you have to integrate these three, uh, uh, these three sources into your notes. Now how to go about note making in physics? The first thing which you would uh, do or you should do is basically look at the syllabus and then you demarcate the subtopics which you need to prepare. And after doing, when you have demarcated your topics, then you look at the previous year question papers. What kind of questions have been asked from that particular subtopic? And orient your notes according to that. So each subtopic should have minimum amount of material prepared. What uh, the kind of questions which have been asked, the theoretical portions which need to uh, substantiate, need to be written to substantiate your answers, applications of that particular part. Those need to be integrated well within your text. And coming to the solving questions of practice, which is basically the major uh, part of your preparation for physics, I think your first attempt should uh, be to do the solved questions of these textbooks. At least do solved examples of these textbooks. And once you are thorough with them, you have prepared them by heart, then you should go for unsolved uh, questions. And uh, last but not the least, uh, I, I should also say that with uh, utmost conviction because this was the uh, mistake which I did in my first attempt that solving previous year question papers is very, uh, very much necessary. At least 15 years of questions should be prepared well and they should be fairly done into your notes or your other, any other notebook which you have kept them for. So I think this all covers how you could go about physics. Uh, and uh, other thing which I also wanted to point out that there is a general misconception that physics could be tough and or even many of the students which have been graduates of physics or postgraduate in physics often do not take up physics. So I want to assure them that it is a very rewarding subject once you invest your time in it. Also you will not get bored throughout your preparation of uh, UPA civil services and uh, I have found solving these problems really interesting. And I hope that my few pointers which I have given could be also helpful for you.